Happy Monday, guys. Just going to make sure that we are indeed live. Yes. Awesome. Man, I can't get enough of the uh, soundtrack for The Greatest Showman. I think it's awesome. Let me get that stopped real quick. Guys, I think you're going to love uh, what I have to share with you today. And I'm actually going to share with you uh, my favorite book. <clears throat> and I want to share with you uh, what this, uh, why this book is so powerful to me and uh, how it can actually be really, really powerful for you. <clears throat> so in terms of, I hope you guys can hear me. Uh, in terms of this video today, if you're watching live, go ahead and comment, hashtag team live. And if you're watching the replay, hashtag team replay. Uh, I think you're really going to enjoy what I have to share with you today. <clears throat> so hopefully uh, some people can jump on while I'm on here live. Um, I'm trying to do it during a little bit of a lunch hour for everybody so you can at least have the, the chance to be with me live. But yeah, I want to share with you my favorite book and a bit of a backstory um, to this book. <clears throat> this was Gosh, this was like five years. This was five years ago now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> five years ago, um, my wife and I, if you don't know about us, uh, my wife and I opened a practice, started it from thin air. And um, about five years in, because <clears throat> we've been doing it 10 years, uh, about five years in, we had really hit a point in our practice where, I mean, we're going and doing spinal screening after spinal screening after spinal screening. And we are doing talks and uh, just doing all these things to try to generate new patients. And um, if you guys understand that hashtag understand uh, the, the frustration with this when nothing amounts to anything, you're going and doing all these spinal screens They're taking up your weekends. Uh, you're totally exhausted. Then you got to go back to work on Monday and you're doing these talks and nobody's signing up or you get lackluster results. So this is a, really where I am five years ago. <clears throat> And uh, I'm, I'm super frustrated. I'm even telling my wife, hey, yeah, we got this. This, this is going to be it. And I'm really thinking on the inside, oh, my, is this going to work? And really, really frustrated with just everything, the practice. It's bleeding over. It's causing me stress and her stress outside the clinic. And it's just, you know, it's just a bit of a friction there. We didn't like it. Uh, it, it was super, super annoying. Hey, what's up, Andrew? Glad you joined us. Uh, but it was, at this time in our practice, um, it's just frustrating and we're, we're going and doing and doing and trying to get some momentum. And the growth is this, I mean, it's flatlining, just nothing. It's like nothing's happening. We can't grow. Right. So five years ago, this is, this is my life. And I mean, just day in and day out, week in and week out. And that's exactly what um, we went through. And uh, you guys may have experienced in the past or maybe even going through a bit of that. So if you're going through it right now, I just want to let you know, Hey, I understand. I, I've certainly been there. Um, but yeah, I want to tell you about my, my favorite book here, um, and how I got this book. I, I think that's really the, um, the incredible point here is how I got this thing. Uh, super, super cool. Uh, so we're actually at a seminar. So the continuing ed, we're doing it really at the end of the year, trying to get our hours. And this was a two day event. Uh, if you've ever done those, we needed all the hours. So we were there for two days. <clears throat> and um, the reason we were there was one of the speakers, but the speaker that we wanted to hear was on day two, right? We're just racking hours for day one and incredibly boring. I don't even know the topics, but we wanted to go see, um, this other guy. And this was actually in Dallas, Texas. Uh, we live in Arkansas. So it was about a five hour drive. And so we drove uh, to Dallas. And when you go to these conferences, <clears throat> typically they're at a, you know, a reasonable hotel or even a nice hotel. And we were, um, we went to, so we drove and we're in North Dallas. We're staying in a hotel there. It's a really, really nice hotel. And so, <clears throat> yeah, we wanted to hear the speaker on day two. It's actually Dan Murphy. We kind of geek out on uh, his stuff, uh, like his stuff. And back five years ago, we were always uh, watching, hey, where's he going to be? Can we go see him? And so that's really what we're doing. And we're also kind of checking out, uh, getting out of town for the weekend because we're frustrated with just zero results from all this working, it felt like grinding. And I hate the idea of grinding because it just doesn't sound like it's gonna produce. And I didn't wanna do that, but uh, that's the way I felt in that moment. So uh, we're actually at this seminar, it's North Dallas and it's on the Saturday and it's toward the end of the year. So the leaves have already fallen. <clears throat> it's just kind of a overcast, you know, one of those gloomy days, doesn't decide if it wants to rain or not rain. <clears throat> 
I just remember it so well because I, that was uh, the day that I actually uh, encountered a, a book that I want to share with you. And so we're at this seminar and uh, for continuing education, and it's on that Saturday. And I'm not even in the room. Like, I just got to take a mental break. And so I walk outside with my phone, and I, I sit down, and I'm playing with my phone uh, in the lobby, just kind of racking my brain, man, how can I do this? And so I'm searching for things online. And interestingly enough, there's this, it's a huge lobby for this hotel, really, really nice lobby in a really nice hotel. And uh, so I'm in there, and there's one other person in the lobby. <clears throat> it was so interesting. This guy, <clears throat> he actually had a book in front of him. And he's sitting there, he's sitting in his chair, so they probably have nice chairs in the lobby. And so he's sitting in this chair, he has this book in his lap and it's opened up. And so he's got that book and he's kind of running his finger along the, the words. He's looking down, he's reading it in his posture, he's just sitting straight up and he's kind of looking down at the book and he's reading, right? And so he reads a couple lines, he shuts the book, sets it on his lap and leans back and closes his eyes. And I'm thinking, what is going on here? And so he opens the book again, opens his eyes, reads a little bit, <clears throat> closes the book, sits up just this almost eerie posture. And so, you know, those moments that you have that just, it kind of seems like this is a different moment. I don't know what to expect, but it just seems like it's a different scenario. Where is everybody? There's nobody in the hotel. This is a big hotel. Where is everybody? But it's just him, just me. That's it. Not even the person behind the desk. Uh, they'd walk around the counter or whatever. And uh, he was in, he was there, he was reading. And I like to watch people. So I'm just, I'm dialed in. I'm watching this guy. Right. And so he does it. He opens the book. He closes the book. He opens it, closes it, you know, close the eye and just sits there and he goes round after round after round. <clears throat> so he's doing this for several minutes and nobody ever entered the lobby. And he's really well dressed. Like he's wearing a suit and you could tell that the cufflinks on his little shirt, you know, they're hanging out. They're really expensive. You can see a watch on his wrist. I mean, that thing wasn't cheap. His shoes look, I mean, just everything about this guy uh, seemed like very personalized, very fitted. Uh, some people wear a suit, but then, hey, oh my gosh, that is a, you have been to a tailor type of suit. And he's wearing one of these suits just sitting there and just nice and calm. And so in the lobby, you know, you got the front doors and there's just big, huge glass doors, just sliding glass doors. <clears throat> so you can see outside, obviously. And they have that little area where you're able to pull a car right to the front door. They have that overhang, whatever that thing's called. And so as I'm watching this guy out of the corner of my eye, I see this real fancy limo pull up. And so this limo pulls up and I mean, really nice limo. And so the guy gets out the, the chauffeur, I, whatever you call the guy, right? I don't have one. <laughs> so the guy gets out and he's incredibly dressed. And I thought, man, that's, this is, this is interesting. I didn't tie them together. Um, both of the guys, but I thought, man, you're dressed well too. And so, <clears throat> I mean, I like a nice suit. So I, I noticed the suit. And so uh, the guy gets out of the car I mean, just standing real tall too. And I thought, what in the world? So he walks to the back <clears throat> of the limo and opens the door and he just stands there, right? And by this time, I'd actually look back to see the guy that had that book in his lap and he's, you know, opening, closing, shutting his eyes, that kind of thing. And he actually was making his way to the front door, uh, going out the doors, the sliding glass windows and into the limo. And I thought, that's that guy's limo. This guy is well to do. I mean, he's staying in this hotel, super nice hotel. He's very specific on how he dresses. So is his chauffeur. Awesome limo, very beautiful, very elegant. <clears throat> Wasn't flashy, just very, you could tell he was well to do. And so you could tell that these two guys, they, they knew each other because the, the uh, chauffeur, as, as the guy with the book is walking and about to get into the car, it's almost like he, the, the chauffeur bowed to him. It was so interesting to see. They're the only two people around. There's still nobody in the lobby. Uh, just me, just the guy reading the book. And now he's walking outside, getting in this limo. And um, if, if you know anything about me, <clears throat> uh, I, I'm an introvert. I don't really talk to others, right? And so uh, getting an introvert to even do a Facebook Live, right? <laughs> but I, I'm super introverted. I don't talk to people. And I thought I am so frustrated with my current situation. I cannot grow my practice. I can't grow my business. I'm doing all this stuff. I feel like I'm grinding and it's just nothing. And I never do I, as fast as he is getting in the car. I jumped out of my seat, ran to him and I'm running so fast. Cause I mean, number one, if I had actually want to 
say anything to that guy. I got to get there fast. But I found myself just running and I was running so fast out that door. It's almost like I kind of ran into him. And I said, oh, hey, um, excuse me. This is kind of awkward, but I I just, I, I got to know. Uh, I'm a business owner and I, how, how did you get here? All this stuff. How, how did you do this? I'm a business owner. It's been frustrating. I'm trying to grow and I'm not getting the results and I it's I feel like I can't provide. Do you do you have any advice? And I never ask for advice like this. So this is just one of those just weird days, right? It's the gloomy just kind of feels different. The hotel lobby felt different. This whole uh, watching this guy experience is different. And he says, um, "Yes, uh, I, people ask me that. I I do get that um, quite often. Uh, here's what." you need to do. And he had that book. So he walked up, he had that book under his arm and he grabs the book from out from under his arm. And he says, you need to read this book. So it's, I mean, a huge book. I'll tell you what it is in a second. <clears throat> but he says, you need to read this book and uh, come to find out this guy actually wrote the thing. Um, he's the author. He's reading his own book, but he goes back and uh, reinvests his time reading his book and uh, visualizing all the things he was doing. But he says, you need to read this book. I'm going to give this book to you is what he says. And I'm thinking, what? You're going to give this book? He says, you have to do this one thing. I said, what is it? I'll just tell me at this point. You're gonna, Yeah. I mean, I was just kind of mesmerized by the whole situation. So he just says anything. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in. And he says, I want you to read this book every day and for only 20 minutes. And I thought, well, okay. He says, you're going to spend the next 40 implementing what you just learned. If you will read 20 minutes of this book every day and spend the next 40 implementing what you just learned, you don't want to do more than that. You'll get overwhelmed. Your, uh, if you do this every day, you will not recognize your life in a year. I said, I'll do it. Okay. And, um, so we got to talking. and he, he told me, yeah, this is, this is my book. Uh, you need to read this. Uh, the people that do this are successful and the people that don't aren't right. And I said, oh my, thank you. And it was so cliche of a moment that, you know, the overcast sky, it's almost like it's breaking, the sun's coming through, stop raining. I think, oh, this is one of those Hollywood moments. This is ridiculous. But that's what happened that day. It was so particular or peculiar, uh, odd, and really, really mesmerized me. I was caught up in this moment. And so he gave me this book and he got into the limo, drove off. And so what I did was I had the book and uh, I'd read 20 minutes every single day, clockwork, and then the next 40 implement. And guys, it didn't take a year. It didn't take a year. It didn't take six months. I mean, three, four months into this, I haven't even read the whole thing at this point. Three, four months in, I'm reading and implementing, reading and implementing. Everything's changing. Everything in my life was changing. Everything. Uh, my, my stress has gone down. My anxiety gone down about the office, not growing. My practice is growing. We're seeing more new patients than ever before. We're breaking records. We're making more money than ever before. We, um, shortened our hours. So we're not open as often. We actually had one of our staff members, uh, she had to quit because she was moving out of state <clears throat> and our systems in our office got better from this, from this, from the output of, from doing the work from this book. Uh, we didn't have to hire another person to replace her because our systems were so good. So our systems got better. We're seeing more new patients. We're making more money. Stress has gone down. Uh, my relationship with my wife got better. Uh, we were able to communicate better. And this is, didn't it didn't take a year. We're already seeing the, the fruits of the labor. I mean, three months maybe. And um, yeah, we just, we just continued and obviously continued the book. And that was, <clears throat> that was, yeah, that was five years ago. And um, every, everything is different. Everything is different. So stress falls down, uh, able to become a coach with elite and several incredible things have happened as a result of that guy handed me a book. And uh, come to find out that guy is a marketer. He was reading his own marketing book, but uh, his name is Jay Abraham. Uh, if you've ever heard of Jay Abraham. He's like one of the best marketers. I can't believe we were staying at the same hotel as a guy that people will pay like uh, heavy six figures and even seven. So in the millions for his marketing advice. 
We're staying at the same hotel with this guy, so he's considered one of the best marketers of our time. Freaking Jay Abraham, and he gave me his book, um, which is super, super, there's like 600 pages in here, but this thing is chock full of all kinds of things to explode any business, any business. At this point, reading the book, any business, and I actually want to, um, I actually want you to be able to take part in this too. So uh, I actually contacted Jay a couple years later after just to say, hey, it didn't take a year. It was less than that. I certainly appreciate you. Um, my life is different because of that one day and come to find out he had actually remembered me. And so he has a whole bunch of training and that kind of thing and has a bit of an inner circle mastermind type of type of thing. And I've gotten to know Jay at this point. Uh, so I, yeah, I've done some things with him and kept in contact with him and super, super incredible. And so he actually did an event. I, I contacted him, um, gosh, this was a couple weeks ago and he was talking about a, um, an event that he had done. Sorry, my phone is beeping. He was talking about an event that he had done <clears throat> and this book uh, is out of print, but he actually had some. And I said, can I get my hands on some of those books? And he says, well, yeah, so I actually got my hands on more of his book. And I think I have, I got six of these. And so I want to make these books available for this group. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, the, out of print, you can't get this book. And if you're going to buy it, like on eBay, like you're going to pay. Uh, but I got my hands on these books, so I kind of weaseled my way in. But I got, yeah, I got six. And I want to make these books available. This is my original copy right here. Um, this is the one he actually gave me. And I want to make these books available for you guys because I want your practice to be able to explode. And I think this book can be one of those vehicles, one of those tools you can use. So um, what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm actually going to post a link here in just a minute. And when I post that link, you can go to that site. And I've already taken care of the book. Uh, I'm just going to ask, hey, take care of the shipping. It'd be like 20 bucks. Uh, I'll, I'm going to ship this book out to you. And um, so you're going to get the book. And I'm not really much of a, I did read this one. I'm not much of a reader, but I'm a listener. And uh, I feel like listening is better for me. And I couldn't get an audio version of it. So I actually sat down um, this past summer and read this book, <clears throat> read it aloud, got a recording. And so I'm able to go back and listen to it. Not that I want to listen to myself. I want to hear this book, right? But I want to hear it in my car. And so when you get this book, um, just give me your address uh, on the site that I'm going to give you here in just a little bit. And <clears throat> you can take care of the shipping. You're going to get your copy of Mr. X, the Mr. X book. And uh, something else you're going to get, I'm going to go ahead and give you my audio file as well. So you can listen to it on your phone, in your car, whatever. So you can still access this, even though you're not necessarily reading. Uh, maybe you like to listen to that kind of thing and work out, whatever. <clears throat> and something else I do is I make checklists. So make sure that things got done. So I implement uh, because I, you know, in the past I've just missed stuff. And I actually made a template that is kind of a checklist to make sure I'd implemented all this stuff. And so when you go to that site here in just a second, uh, you're going to get not just the book. You're not going to get the audio. Uh, you're also going to get that checklist. So the only thing you're taking care of is the shipping of the book. That's all I ask. Take care of the shipping. I'm, I'm actually going to ship you um, a copy of my favorite book. And I want you to get the Mr. X book. Um, it's really changed my life in basically every way. So uh, are you interested in the book? If you're interested in the book, go ahead and comment below, hashtag book. <clears throat> if you're interested in getting this book, if, I, I hope there's interest for this book uh, in this group. Uh, I want to help you in any way possible uh, with a book that's out of print. Uh, you can get your hands on it. It's not like I'm, I don't want to make money. I just take over the shipping. That, that tells me, hey, you're honest about it. You actually do want the book. And um, yeah, I'll ship it to you. I'll ship you the audio file and I'm going to give you a, <clears throat> I'll get you the audio file. I'll get you that checklist, all of those things. So if there's interest for this book, um, hashtag book. So interest in this book, hashtag book. I'm going to drop that link here in just a second. <clears throat> How does that sound? Does that sound awesome? Put a hashtag awesome if that sounds awesome. Hashtag awesome. So you guys are going to be watching this, whether you're watching live, watching the replay, uh, go ahead and put hashtag awesome. <clears throat> and I'm going to, now I only have six. So there's, there's a built, a uh, built in a little bit of scarcity. Hey, I only have six. And when they're gone, they're gone. Uh, I can't get any more. I'm glad I weaseled my way into getting the six, but if you want your copy, uh, Mr. X, 600 pages of pure freaking gold, 
um, then make sure you, you jump onto that website here in just a second that I'm going to give you, and you'll be able to get your copy. Um, I'm super excited for you too to get your copy. So you you guys ready? I'm going to drop that link. Okay, you ready? If you're ready, here we go. <clears throat> okay, I gotta let you know something. Hey, hey, Shayla, she just jumped on. <laughs> My wife is on. So, um, hey, Shayla, I was just telling the story of favorite book and how they can get their hands on their copy. So, uh, anyway, <clears throat> she jumped on. I'm gonna drop the link. Are you ready? Now, for six people. So you're gonna have to hurry. I'm just kidding. That whole story made up. Wait, what? Everything I just said is made up. I had a story of, this is a marketing book, Mr. X book written by Jay Abraham. My story, my encounter with Jay Abraham, nope. But what did I do? I just sold a book on a story. I sold a book on a story. You wanted the book based on what? Did we go over the chapters of this book? Did I tell you what it's all about? All the things? No. So what am I sharing with you? It has nothing to do with your facts and figures. Research articles are not going to convince a patient a story will, just like it did you. A story. It takes stories to challenge and break down beliefs. So I have to break down, that's my challenge right here, right now, is I have to actually break down your beliefs. Most people think, man, if I just tell them more stuff, that's info vomit and it's information, it's not a story. That's what we do, we info vomit. Number one, they don't even want the information, right? Two, they want a story. Everybody wants a story. How do I know? Movie theaters are still a thing. They go for the stories. They pay. Netflix is a thing. We love stories. Stories sell. You've got to be able to sell. Your sales message is a story. It's a story. That's it. It's not, hey, we do this technique and looking under the hood, so to speak, and we do this and this and bop, 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 all the features of a corrective care type of um, technique. It, it just doesn't happen. Stories. Just like my story to you, this book. Now, this book is actually out of print, and um, you can't get it. It's, it's super, super expensive. Um, but I got to break down your belief systems on trying to push info, info, info. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with a story. You need to wrap a story around what you do, chiropractic. And that story, that vehicle, chiropractic, just fulfills the promise of your story. You've got to get good at storytelling. So uh, as we go along in this group, I'm not actually going to teach you <clears throat> how to craft your sales message and tell your story. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that today. Um, sorry to the people that actually want the book and was super excited to dial in that website because um, they don't exist. But I had to prove a point today. Uh, if you like this, um, hashtag that was cool. Hashtag that was cool. If you like this uh, type of training, uh, this is kind of the hugging around the neck, kicking in the butt type of training. But if you like that, um, that was cool. So just let me know uh, if you like this. And I look forward to seeing all of you tomorrow on our live.